Okay, welcome again to my office. This is indeed my office. This is not a bathroom. However, I wanted to share, you, share with you a little bit about my bathroom routine. Uh, here I've got a roll of toilet paper. Now, when I'm in the bathroom, quite often I take some reading material with me, and I've, uh, I've got one hand you know, with, with the book, and, and I'm taking care of nature's business. And so I only have one hand free with which to, to take care of the toilet paper, right? So what do you do when you have that situation where you've only got one hand and you've got to rip off some toilet paper? You do one of those deals, right? When you do that, you are essentially using Newton's first law of motion. It's sometimes called the law of inertia. Inertia has to do with mass. The greater the amount of mass, the greater amount of inertia. The less mass, the less inertia. Vice versa. You know, essentially, inertia and mass are synonymous. So what happened there? Well, notice when I pull off a little bit of toilet paper, you know, this little tail here, there's not much mass. There's a couple of sheets of toilet That's not much mass. So right now that toilet paper is at rest. The, the tail and the, the entire roll is at rest. But when I apply a force, when I apply a force, I can, because this doesn't have very much mass, I can make it move quite easily. So an object at rest will remain at rest unless I acted by, by an outside force. But turns out that when there's not a much inertia there, my, my force can cause a lot of motion. Whereas the rest of the roll has a lot of mass, a lot of inertia. So despite the fact that I was applying a force, it didn't have much impact on that large mass. And therefore, essentially what happened was my tail moved more than the roll moved. And therefore, that's what made it tear. Happy Newton's first law to you.